Well, if you're gonna test a Jeep, you might as well test it someplace good. And look who we brought along. Welcome to Clear Springs Ranch, home of Jeep and Wichad. We're in the new Rubicon today. Gonna put her through a couple tests here and there. And uh, we got some people with us. I'll introduce them to you in a second. And uh, we're with the Orlando Jeep Club today. And this is one of the great benefits of being part of the Jeep Club is having the ability to come out here and do some riding. And when it comes time in February for Judd, it's a whole lot of riding. Don't go out by yourself and uh, you can get stranded out here it is 19 18 to 19 thousand acres it's a lot of a lot of property it's a cattle ranch and it is active so any gate that's closed you have to keep closed any gate that's open you need to leave open because the cows move to and fro from all this stuff we're gonna go try out a couple obstacles out here so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we greatly appreciate it. Condition of the trails today are pretty dry looking. So I don't know what we're gonna find, but uh, I do see that the lakes are low. So that means there should be gators. And I see somebody over there. Sometimes people ask me uh, if this is open land. No, this is private property. And the only reason that we are allowed to come out here specifically today is because of the Orlando Jeep Club. If you live in the Orlando, Central Florida area and you're looking for a club made up of Jeepers who love Jeeps just as much as you, then check out their website. There's a QR code right there and uh, go join up. That way you can be part of Jeeping with Judd and work it. It's a wonderful time. doing today we're doing great how's it going this is introductions uh this is jeff robin robin where y'all from we're from bradenton bradenton and y'all are visiting for the first time trying out an orlando jeep club ride normally there's a lot more people on a ride so but it's just us after after their whatever time we're supposed to be there thingy you know the the time thing that that uh <laughs> <laughs> we'll go out with another group right but that's not all because here we have some new Jeep Club members that just joined the club. Yes, yes we did. All right. So was it a painless process? It was. We, and uh, I, I can't ask you if you're going to recommend it because this is your first time riding on the club ride. So on Wednesdays, they go out and they do rides also. That's called nice. the Wednesday Wheelers. Oh, okay. And in the meetings, you can win stuff. Yeah, we were at a meeting years ago and we won this backpack that yeah. has all camping utensils. It's wow. in our camper. We love it. You still got it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to take it easy. Take, take it easy. 
we're gonna take it easy and, and move forward from here. working ranch. Is in February though the weather will be nice. Yeah, because it's showing right now. 
I think it's off a little bit. It says 122 degrees. <laughs> If you want to be able to come to Jeeping with Judd, registration opens up in October. There's a limited amount of Jeeps that they allow in. So it's one of those things that you're going to want to keep an eye open for Jeeping with Judd. And then as soon as you see that registration opens up, make sure that you register. It is a beautiful area to Jeep around. That's the only way to get onto this property other than if if you are a club member, then because they work so hard at making the trails and on their event that they're allowed to come a few times throughout the year, just as a special thank you type thing. But if not, come to Jeeping with Judd, come to the event. It's a great fundraiser for charities in Polk County. here with this lady. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm the president of the Orlando Jeep Club. We're out at Clear Springs Ranch today taking a look at conditions to start preparing for the Jeep and Wood Judd event that comes up the last weekend in February. Um, if you want to learn trail skills or just have some fun people to go on trail rides with, you should join us. It's orlandojeepclub.com and come on out and see us. I joined the Jeep Club in 2004. I've been on the board most of those years and I'll be your president if I get voted in for two more years. So vote for Janet. <laughs> um, how often do y'all go for rides? We have two rides most months, one the first Wednesday and then one on the weekend. The Wednesday wheelers go all over. Um, if you don't have to work on a Wednesday, it's a great group to join. And then we usually do one trail ride weekend a month. Right Cows are out there under the trees trying to get cool. Our windows are up and the air conditioning is running because it's in the 90s now. My thermometer on the rear mirror says, Careful where you step. Banana stars. I have been out here many times, and this is normally a sinkhole. It never is. 
It's on this side of the metal pole. Yeah, it's on this side. Holy cow. That's a spider in the shop. Oh, no, 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 no. It's on this side. It's on this side. No, usually it's separate. It's yeah, mm -hmm. uh, like a sinkhole would be. It's just like, like look don't. Here, Jeff, look out to the right. Look out in the river area. Mm -hmm. Just off the Peace River on the Clear Springs Ranch where the phosphate mine used to be, on a couple of places where there are bridges, there's also these large cement structures. Anybody out there that used to work here back in the 50s or knows somebody who works in the 50s, what are these towers? Comment below. That is the Peace River. I think there used to be something else here too. I'm walking here and I see some little frog and all of a sudden here by the Peace River I look down on the ground and lo and behold what should I see but a pile of poo so you know what that means it's time for an episode of what kind of scat is that with Matt let's take a look at this small pile of poo and see if you can tell me what it is here we got some poo laying on the ground looks kind of hard got some hair particles in it it smells very earthly but you know what I, I don't know exactly what it is but judging by the pinched off piece here at the end it just might be coyote so what do you think that is coyote or bobcat Coyote or bobcat? People. <laughs> Do. No, because people would leave toilet paper around here. <laughs> Don't forget to comment below. And if you want to snorkel with alligators, you know what you can find in this river? Shark's teeth. Shark's, Shark's, Shark's teeth, teeth, including? Megalodon. Megalodon teeth are in this river right here. And a lot of artifacts. However, right now, the current's moving, so if you wait for it to calm down, clear up a little bit, maybe you can go snorkeling with the gators, but I'll pass, thank you. Hey, thanks for coming to Jeepin' with Judd. Y'all have a great rest of your day.
happy you're not doing that. <laughs> How was that? You warned them, didn't you? I jammed my back up my neck. I'm like, I need a chiropractor. <laughs> Summer right now. <laughs> this has been a ride with the Orlando Jeep Club out at the Clear Springs Ranch, home of Jeepin' with Judd. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I hope you enjoyed this uh, trail ride thing. This has been kind of testing the new Rubicon that we got. Yes, I know, we got another Jeep. It's funny today as we were out driving around that people didn't know who we were. And then we pull up and they, you got another Jeep? Well, <laughs> we don't have a yellow Jeep yet. I'm Matt. I'm Pam. I'm Mark. I'm Jeff. And I'm Robin. Baritha, say your name. Boy, so <laughs> <laughs> and, and this has been a Florida Jeep Ride Out with the Orlando Jeep Club on a club trail ride today. So if you are looking for a Jeep Club to be a part of and you're in the Central Florida area, um, might I recommend the Orlando Jeep Club? We've been members for quite a while, probably somewhere around 2017 or something like that. We'll see you on the next ride. Bye. Bye. Never had cow patty wash? Yeah. yeah. Probably. This gets thrown yeah. contest. Yeah, I mean, we used to try to find the ones that are a little bit crusty on the outside, but still good and soft on the inside, so that when you hit the person with it, it would Yeah. You know, and if you could hit them in the face where it went in the mouth, it's even, even better. So, um, I had a couple dad jokes, but I forgot them already. Oh, how does a procrastinator say goodbye? I don't know, how? Later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I put maple syrup on my shopping list. Now it's all sticky. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, what if I just bought my Jeep off the shop? What if I just bought... Sorry, Steve. <laughs> what if I just bought my Jeep from the dealership and it's bone stock? Bring it on a trail ride. <laughs> Did you get him? Oh, he's yeah, he's unzipping. He's unzipping the. Oh. the... Well, maybe it's only the rainbow. Oh.